Hey guys, Hubbard here, back in with another review, and today we are having a look at the DC Signature Collection Ocean Master. Excuse me, another figure I got for 15 bucks. Thank you, Jason. So, um, talk about presentation. This guy is actually really, really cool looking. I'm probably going to have to give him a really high rating, because he does have quite the uh, look. And, uh, again, it's just the mailer box, but on the back, oh my god, I got a different crap different stuff it's an Aquaman advertisement woohoo so um yeah I mean this figure even my dad thought it was cool so it takes a lot for him to really really dig on a figure but uh, having a look at the box this is Ocean Master nothing there and then the artwork on the side is really cool I don't think he's got that. Does he have those? Oh, never mind. I'm a big fat liar. <laughs> and on the back, you can see him all posed and stuff. Oh, he's like a different picture. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. I thought his mouth was closed. <laughs> you can pause and read that. I think he is, um,. Aquaman's brother, if I am not mistaken. Real name, Orm. <laughs> not only did Aquaman get the throne, he got the cooler name. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Arthur, come on. That's a way better name than Orm. Orm? Really? Orm. That is no special italicized way to say it. It's just warm. And then his foot came off the thing. There we go. So bringing him in for a close up. He is pretty cool. As he's going to stay on here. And um, he is really hard to manipulate here. There. That's okay. I knew his foot was moving. Um, the DC figures aren't tight like the Marvel ones on this rotating system, so. The Huntress was a lot easier to do than this guy, but regardless, he is pretty cool. Let me just freaking take him off. Um, he's got decent range of movement in the head as well. I was kind of surprised. And then, as you can see here, oh, let's do it this way. He does not here to have a full body uh, jumpsuit some flesh there it's his neck pretty interesting he does come with the staff here which I don't really need to take out of his hand so I'm just gonna leave it but uh, he does have the head articulation as I said he's got this awesome looking cape I like this cape and uh, he's got the uh, shoulder articulation which is not hindered by the cape unless you want to move it uh, full 360 but really who does that and then he's got a bicep swivel he's got some uh, elbow movement there gives you about 90 he's got some 
underwater Batman spikes there and uh, wrist rotation and an ab crunch that gives you a decent range of movement as well as a waist swivel the belt seems to be a sculpted on piece you cannot remove that oh well he's got the gaping crotch pits as usual standard DC UC fair with the thigh swivel the single jointed knee and the foot hinge there yeah this guy is pretty darn cool looking and I highly recommend him he is a solid solid figure And uh, I just noticed this the other day. That's supposed to look like an O. Because <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> Partially blind. So cut me some slack. But here he is. We'll do a quick size comparison before we take off. I do not have the uh, figures I have planned for the week out. So we'll just use uh, the previous week. Use Carnage and Black Cat. And as you can see, they are... Uh, well in scale with Ocean Master he should be a little taller <clears throat> then at least Black Cat I think Carnage was the same height so I'm putting him back on this base here come on where's the peg hole where's the Flipping. There it is. <laughs> Can't find the freaking peg hole. You know what? Maybe I should try to plug his staff into one of the peg holes. It's on the actual. Ah, you know what? Maybe I should have done that earlier and he wouldn't have fallen over. Huh. I'll be a son of a gun. It actually seems to want to fit Tuesday peg hole, so we'll just do that. But uh, overall, he is a pretty cool figure. I do like him. But uh, yeah, he does have his flaws. He's a little tricky to stand sometimes. Well, other than that, I don't really have any other problems, so I'm just going to give him a 9. He's just the standard base, and I do believe this is painted. Yes, it is painted. So, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. We're going to have a look at the Thanos wave mm -hmm. next, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.